One of the, the funnest things about the early days of Pixar is we were just so small. In 1991, Pixar moves into this giant building in Point Richmond. We only used maybe a quarter of the space. You'd hear and tumbleweeds going down these empty hallways. So we just started riding around on scooters. Somebody had the idea to actually race the scooters. We had this, sort of this whiteboard on the wall and we would record our times and we'd see how fast we could go down this long hallway, loop around through the warehouse and come back. Part of the thrill was that it was a convoluted maze. There were two 90 degree turns in it and you had to go through several doorways. Well, Tom Porter, one of the original guys always there and he is one of the most competitive people on the planet and he's very athletic and he just got the best time and nobody could beat it we're there late one night burning the midnight oil and john gets on one of the scooters and decides that he's just going to try to beat tom porter's time because it hasn't been beaten in forever and he gets some really amazing time beat Tom Porter's. And he was so proud that even though it was the middle of the night, he got on the phone, <laughs> called Tom Porter, woke him up, didn't even say hello, said his time, and Tom Porter just said, I'll be right there. And the next thing we know, Tom Porter's there. I think in his sweats or still in his pajamas, you know, just like literally jumped out of the bed, got in the car. And proceeded to do the route again and again as fast as he could. because there was no way he was going to go back home and not beat it. And he comes back and he's bloody because he is wiped out somewhere along the line and he's just got blood going down his arm, but he beat the time. He had just gone full tilt. That was a very good example of, in a weird way, what a, what a typical week or day was when we were a small group. Dink, dink. 